Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Soulcation Podcast. Uh, I'm your host, Logan Renee. We're going to talk about oh, something that's a little touchy, but hey, it's a Soulcation Podcast, so we got to talk about it, okay? Um, why women can't get along? I wonder. Let's talk about it. So this is where I'm coming from. This is definitely based on relationships, uh, friendships, or friendships that I had uh, with women, um, how I grew up um, having relationships with women, and then the second best thing that I ever done I, that I have, I've ever done in my life was pledge in a sorority. I'm a member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, V Sorority, um, and I got to learn a lot, <laughs> a lot about myself. Um, in some ways, I feel like I mirror my line sisters in a lot of different ways. I, I can see myself um, in them. Um, I got to learn responsibility, how to handle various attitudes, personalities. Um, I got to learn about different uh, levels of friendships and how friendships look, um, how to have uncomfortable conversations. And this is not only with my line sisters, but just uh, women a part of my sorority and women a part of other sororities. Um, I got to learn how to have a disagreement and get over it. Um, all those things uh, came up uh, while dealing with women. Uh, matter of fact, once upon a time, child, this was like this is like a story of our line. Um, so we had this thing called a lemon squeeze. For you all to, that don't know what a lemon squeeze is, you sit around a room or you sit around in a circle, and whoever has the lemon either addresses an issue or answers uh, an issue that is brought up by somebody else. So my genius line sisters had this amazing idea to have a lemon squeeze about me, okay? Um, my relationship with women, I would say, was very um, non-existent. I feel like the reason why is because um, my gift, my purpose is attached to the healing of women, um, the freedom that you create um, as a woman, me teaching those things. So of course, um, Satan didn't want me to do any of this that I'm doing, you know? So of course, to, I think his agenda was always to make sure that I had horrible relationships with women, honestly. Anyway, so my wonderful line sisters, I'm being sarcastic at this moment because at that moment I ain't like them, you know. Uh, I love them now. Truly, truly love them now. Don't know what I would, where I would be if they weren't in my life. Um, but at the moment, uh, they had all got together. Um, and like I said, it was about me and my best friend. You know, they were saying different things that we had said and how I hurt their feelings. And I was just, I was hurt because not only had we hung out that whole day we had been hanging out you know and individually nobody had said anything to me so i was kind of blindsided when i sat down i was like dang you know what i'm saying this how y'all been feeling and y'all just now saying something it took the group to come together just to have this conversation with me and what i learned was two things lemon squeezes are stupid <laughs> they are dumb they should be canceled and fight okay thrown in the trash with um just horrible okay they just need to be in a trash can because it's never the same intensity meeting with somebody on one-on-one -on -one than it is with a group never never and i'm gonna explain why so based on all that experience of my life um it's probably a million reasons why we can't get along at times but i'm gonna focus on a couple and what we can do to move past it number one we make individual issues group issues we make individual issues, group issues. There is no way every single person feels the same way about an issue. It's, it's, there's no way. We think differently. We see stuff differently. We grew up differently. Some people take stuff personal. Some people don't care at all, okay? Some of my line sisters were sitting there like, girl, why am I here? What, what time am I about to go? Some people were super into the topic. Some people had so much to say, it was ridiculous, you know? Um, but the Housewives gives us a perfect example of how 
putting everything on the table or having a conversation in front of everybody is always tragic because what you get is multiple opinions. You know, you get people who don't even know the whole story chiming in, giving a little three cents. And sometimes it makes the issue, it takes it to another issue and not addressing the real issue of why you all were there. And then you get this thing called piggybacking emotions, honey. How you have a person who would normally, in your face, if you were to talk to that person one-on-one, -on -one, they would be stupid mute. They would have nothing to say. But you get in, in a group, all of a sudden they gangster, all of a sudden they hard, you know, they write. <laughs> they get this um, newfound confidence in a group that they never would have if you had solo conversations with them. And that's actually what I did. So the next day, the people who had the most to say and some people that I felt like wanted to say something but didn't, I had individual conversations with them. And it was the best thing that I could have ever done. And I, like I said, I learned a lot about them and I learned a lot about myself, you know, cause a lot of times you're just that person's mirror, you know? Um, but anyway, individual conversations are always best, uh, mainly because group converse, group relationships don't work. Group relationships do not work. Individual relationships at this age, in this stage in our life are so much better. Again, <laughs> if you have a click and all y'all hang out, be mindful that all your friends, all your friendships, all your relationships are going to be different. Conversations are going to be different. Individuals are already different. There's no way you can have the same relationship with different people. It's not going to work. That's why group conversations don't work. If there is a hot topic, and it, especially in a sorority, if it's something that y'all got to talk about, child, individually, you and her, I'm telling you, it's going to be so different than it is in a group. That little group stuff put on the table is mute, okay? Number two, we don't take the time to learn how each other communicates. We don't take the time to learn how each other communicate. That's why we don't get along. We try to talk to... The, talk, try to talk to different women the same way and that's never going to work. Everybody communicates different. Some friends are able to handle a straightforward, bold, girl, you need to stop and you need to sit down explanation. Some people are a little more sensitive. You know, they grew up in a certain area. Um, some people need examples and pictures and graphs. Some people need receipts. Some people need, uh, <laughs> you know, a video of an image. You know, some people just want you to listen. They want to come tell you what their problem is. They don't want you to say nothing. They want you to listen. And, and they're good. They got it off their chest. Some people are super extra. Some people are super dramatic. You know, some people make everything about them. I was this person at once, so I could roll my eyes. Um, <laughs> um, but some people want to talk daily. Some people want to talk once a month. Some people are okay with catching up with you once every six months. The, great, the greatest thing that we can do as a mature whole woman is know what we need out of our friendships um, and out of our relationships. More importantly, how do you communicate? For me, um, I like to know that you're still alive. So if I haven't talked to you but once a year, probably not in good standing. <laughs> we probably need to have a little conversation. Um, I love talking to people, especially knowing that you can lose somebody that you truly love. Um, communicating on a consistent basis for me is super, super important. But you have to know how you communicate because we can't cast expectations on people and we're not even clear about what it is that we need as friends or as women. Um, but definitely learn how your friend communicates. If they're super dramatic, you're going to have to come at them way differently than a person that is super, super sensitive. That's two different tones, two different ways you're going to talk to that person. Um, but seriously, the real mature way of looking at friendship is knowing that none of them are going to be the same. None of them, not one conversation is going to be the same and not one relationship is going to look the same. Number three. Now, this one needs to be framed. This one needs to be announced at the White House. This one needs to go viral on social media. Just this one point, just right here. Your self-esteem and your confidence should be at the same level of your shade, your jokes, and your commentary. 
your self-esteem needs to be at the same level of your shade, your jokes, and your commentary. If you can't take it, don't say it. If you can't take it, don't say it, Sway. Perfect example. I have been around women who think they Kevin Hart Jr., Bernie Mac Sr., and Steve Hart. They, they think they that funny, okay? And you tell them they bra strap showing or they shoes leaning and they got an attitude for the rest of the day. Not you. Not miss jokes, <laughs> not miss commentary, not miss I've had something to say all day about every single person. There is no way you're that fragile. And if you are, that's a problem. Your self-esteem, your confidence sh should be sitting at the same level of your shade. If you can throw shade, if you can throw shots, if you can make jokes, your confidence need to be sitting right there. And if it's not, shh. Just shh. your backbone, your shade bone need to be just as strong, just as strong, because this is what happens. People don't know how to deal with you. People won't joke with you. People won't take you as serious. You know, even if your joke's funny, they ain't gonna laugh at them because they like, girl, if you say one more thing, <laughs> I promise you, my comeback won't be nothing nice. So your shade bone and backbone need to be sitting at the same level of your confidence, just, just right there. And another thing, when you have that type of personality, you shift the energy in the room. Everybody feels when you got an attitude. Everybody feels when you're mad. You know, you can come in, oh, I'm just chilling. I'm just, I'm just going to be quiet. No, your energy sucks because your confidence is not at the same level of your mouth. The mouth and the confidence got to it got to line up. Has to line up, sis, or just keep your commentary to yourself. That's also an option. Okay? <laughs> Let's recap. Why some women can't get along is cuz we piggyback emotions. We try to do too many group conversations when the best thing we can do is have individual conversations. The reason why you want to have individual conversations is cuz you're going to have an individual relationship with that person. You might have friends where you, you go to conferences with. You might have friends who read a lot of books and y'all are able to talk about that. You might have friends that, you know, are your music connoisseurs or people you go to concert with. Sometimes all of those group of friends don't match and that's okay. Your groups of friends are reflections of things that you like. All of them don't have to come together. They don't even all have to meet if you don't want them to, you know. Um, also, how you communicate. Learn how you communicate and then learn how your friends communicate. So we have conversations. You're not apologizing a lot, <laughs> like me. Um, you don't have to apologize a lot if you go ahead and learn how that, commu that person communicates or ask them, you know, what's the best way you like to communicate. Some people like to have full-blown conversations via text. I hate it. Especially if we got to talk about something serious. I feel like Words can get lost. I'd rather just hop on the phone, FaceTime, let's talk about it, what's popping. Oh, you bad, ooh, ooh, my bad, ooh, ooh. and let's move on. You know, some people need examples, pictures, and receipts. Some people like for you to just listen, they say it, you say, I'm sorry, and y'all done. I like them people. You ain't gotta say nothing. <laughs> you just say, I apologize one time, and you done? Yeah, listen. Lastly, your backbone, your shade bone, need to be at the same level of your confidence, at the same level of your self-esteem. As shady as you are, you should definitely be just as strong to be able to take it back. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in to the Soulcation Podcast. Make sure you share this episode with all your friends, okay? Uh, rate this show five stars on the podcast app as well as leave a review. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you like the video as well as as well as subscribe to the Soulcation uh, TV channel. I would love to hear your feedback as well. So all you have to do is comment below in the comment section. And I will catch you all on the next episode of the Soulcation podcast. Have a good one.